Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to push data onto stake. That is how to store data onto stake or how to retrieve. Uh, that means how to pop data from the stake. The pop is the word which is used to uh, retrieve, right? Which is used for retrieving data from stake and push is that uh, push push is a word which is used to uh, explain uh, sending word right so push and pop are two keywords and two important statements of 8086 microprocessor right uh, push ax is a statement which is used to store the value of ax on a stake right as i told you store data onto stake that means uh, we are sending the value of ax whatever the value of ax right ax is a 16 bit register so 16 bit value will be pushed onto stake and remember stake will always uh, store information in word format Rem i have already explained you stake uh, so this tutorial is very easy to understand uh, if you haven't followed that tutorial i will suggest please go and watch the tutorial on stake itself uh, because in this video tutorial we are just learning how to push the values onto stake and we have also learned uh, whatever the value which which is pushed last time it will be very it will be on the very top right if it is the stake right if it is a stake a stake is stake is like what uh, a bucket right so if it is the last value so it will be coming out very first right uh, if we have pushed another value it will be stored on the top of it if we push another value it will be stored on the top of it right so that means stake pointer will always be uh, decremented right this is the maximum value remember f f uh, if you remember the stake pointer is the default value of stock pointer if it is the bottom of the stake or stake is empty then uh, it is triple f e right and every time you uh, push some value inside it so what will be happening if the value will be subtracted by two the next value would become what ffc if uh, we push another value another two will be subtracted it will become triple f what a and so on so this is the format right and similarly if we are uh, popping out some value that means uh, a stake pointer has certain value let's say one double zero right what is going to happen if i am going to pop out pop out means i am taking values from the stake or i am retrieving value from the stake so what is going to happen it will be subtracted by two so one triple zero subtracted by two would be what it would be uh zero f f e right similarly uh, it will proceed uh, onwards uh that means a stake pointer will be incremented by two we will notice this thing and we will observe this thing in emulator tutorial or in in emulator 8086 let's go and uh, see that program okay now uh, i am in emulator environment so i will be pushing some values into the emulator let's see let's say first of all we put some value in ax ax value is let's say one two three four hex and we take another value let's say move dx is equal to uh, 0 f 5 4 4 right i have used zero prefix before because i cannot use directly alphabet in immediate number and then what i'm do, what i'm doing uh, i'm going to push this value okay before pushing let's uh, simulate this program and see what are the result it's quite easy uh, if i run it single step ax will be 1 2 3 4 another single step bx would be what f4 5 4 right so this is very simple program but how to observe the stake for a stake there is a button of a stake i hope you can see that stake and this is the stake and uh, i as i told you stake will always be starting from the bottom right so you can see that this is the logical address uh, let me highlight it for you this is the stake segment value 0 1 double 0 and how you verify it look you can verify it from here 0 1 double 0 ss right similarly triple f e this is the value of what stake pointer the offset part of the uh, logical address of a stake address so this is what sp right so every time we push something uh, this stake pointer will be decremented because uh, uh, right now it is pointing towards this address which is the bottom of the address right 
this specific address is what this this specific location is what bottom of the address so whenever we gonna push some value next value will come up here the next value will come up here and so on so a stake pointer will be decrementing the next address would be triple fc then triple f a and so on right so let's push some value onto the stake uh how are we gonna do it let's do it here let's say i'm pushing ax right so this one two three four will be pushed on this location because current value of stake pointer is what triple f e and this value will be uh subtracted by two because next address would be what triple fc let's see and observe this first of all we have to emulate this complete program because i have changed this code so if i change the code i will run the two first two lines okay this is the same area now and the next ad next value should be coming here because we are pushing very first value of uh, into the stake so what is going to happen let's single step so this line push ax you can see that this is highlighted over here in yellow color which means this is the line to be executed so if i'm going to uh, push it what is going to happen ax value which is 1 2 3 4 will be pushed on this address 0100 colon triple fc and this stake pointer value will be decremented by 2 so let's see i hope you can see that 1 2 3 4 is pushed into this uh, location this is the address and this address is shown by stake pointer okay this is the way you can actually push it uh, you can also take out the values okay let's push some other value let's say i'm pushing also uh, px i will be pushing the next value of px and then i will pop out that means i will retrieve the value from the stake and this time i'm retrieving the value into some other register let's say cx so let's see what is going to happen uh first of all i have to execute this program complete okay so first line i'm going to execute 1 2 3 4 is moved in ax the next line is uh, f454 should be moved in bx yes correct the next line we are pushing into a, a stake and we are pushing the register ax right push ax so let's execute it we can see that 1 2 3 4 is loaded here uh, stake pointer is uh, pointing to this uh, blue area and furthermore you can see that stake pointer value has changed f triple fc uh, the next instruction we are again pushing a value let's say bx so uh, bx value is f454 so it should be coming over here if this is lo location and the address of the stake pointer should be triple f a let's see Yes, F four five four is pushed, and stake pointer is further decremented by two. Triple F A has become its value, and now what we are doing? The next statement, we are popping out the value from the stake. That means we are taking the value from the stake. So last value which is pushed into the stake is what F four five four, and stake pointer is pointing what triple F A. So if I am going to take out this value, what is going to happen? Stake pointer will uh, increment it by two. Uh, that means it will switch back to the previous location, which is triple F C. and furthermore this f454 which we are popping out which we are taking out from the stake it will go to the cx register because this time destination of print uh, of the pop instruction is what cx so let's see if it is going to happen or not uh look you can see that the blue area is shifted back 1 2 3 4 and the value of cx is f454 okay one important thing uh, which uh, you have been observing here i hope uh, it is that that this value of f454 is still present in the uh, stake register over here actually it has been removed right but uh, uh, due to this is an emulator the, we are not running the program directly in the hardware of 8086 otherwise it would have been empty right furthermore if i will push some other value it definitely it will be overwritten but the point to be noted or point to be uh, understand then that uh, you have to, uh, you have pop out that value and that value had already gone to the cx register right that we wanted to observe here i hope in this tutorial we have learned how to access stake in emulator uh, 8086 and how to push the values onto the stake and how to take out the values from the stake still if you have any confusion or queries regarding this program or this mechanism you can post your queries and confusions in comment section thank you so much for listening